Josephine Baker may not be a household name in Canada, but she is in France. Born in America, the dancer and singer spent much of her career in Europe. And during the Second World War, her performances were a cover for her work as a spy. This week, she was given a rare honor reserved for French national heroes. Crystal Gomansing explains. An icon of the 20s with a deep love for France. Admiration reciprocated by millions. Josephine Baker ne défendait pas une couleur de peau. French President Emmanuel Macron praised Josephine Baker, saying she did not defend a skin color, she carried a certain idea of humankind and fought for the freedom of all. At a rare ceremony earlier this week in Paris, a coffin was carried into the famed Pantheon, not holding remains but soil from the countries that shaped Baker 46 years after she passed away. Baker is only the sixth woman to be honored with a tomb in the Pantheon's mausoleum and the first black woman. Baker left America in her hometown of St. Louis, Missouri at 19, looking for opportunities as a dancer. It was in France where she rose to fame as one of the headliners at the renowned Folie Bergère in Paris. At Baker's namesake hotel, no one's surprised she was invited into the crypt with the likes of Marie Curie and Voltaire. It shows that French culture is opening up to things different from literature or only certain types of art. Cabaret gave Baker and France an edge during the war. In 1940, Baker pivoted from stage siren to spy, using her performances around Europe to collect information for the French resistance. To Jean-Claude Boulon Baker, she was just mum. Baker adopted 12 children. As a mother, she was very simple, he says. As soon as she got home, it was over. She dropped her luggage. She cooked spaghetti and stuff. A mother, a spy, a performer, and years later, a passionate civil rights advocate, even speaking at the 1963 March on Washington. Baker's strength, determination, and grace now cemented in history with one of the highest honors in France. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.